realize now we are the embodiment of this great library. We are the embodiment of this great question. What does it mean to be human? And now the relationship to the ancestors and the elders are saying, now you're ready for this other chapter, which is, guess what? You don't come from not knowing. You come from vast knowing. And this quality began to tell me a story. It's, it, her name is Tor. And it's this, and the image is in the floor, and it starts to reemerge. It's the story of the elongated head. And the story that we didn't come from not knowing, but we essentially thought we were elegant thinkers, beautiful thinkers. We saw creation as a type of beautiful symphonic event. But the question was, because we were not artists, we were not creative in a sense, we knew too much to be creative. To be creative, you have to forget. And to explore the nature of being human, you have to be willing to enter the worlds of intimacy, which means you have to figure out, if I don't remember, then what will I find that allows me to endure? And that's why the story of Tor is that we've been doing this for some 18 million years, according to this other narrative, and that it was to give up this ancient way of knowing. And this has to do with the goddess. This has to do with this loss of the knowledge of the ancient ones, of the primordial ones, of the elders, because they retained the knowledge. We turned away from the knowledge because we wanted to make Earth our first mother. Because when we came here in ancient of ancient times, we didn't want to stay here. It was too far away from where things were happening. And the key was, well, how do we make this blue jewel? What's the opportunity? The opportunity here is we can sustain the illusion of separation. We can believe that we are not connected long enough for each of us to be born into these worlds of separation and through effort, through trial, through alchemy, finally hold a relationship that says, ah, Earth is my first mother. Gaia is where I seek to be. I no longer seek to return to the stars as an ancient god. That was then. This is now. And then, like a tree, finally connecting to its roots, it says, yes, do you really think you can return? You grow out of a soil of unimaginable depth, but you've been stopping at the floor and saying, I have no roots. You have roots. And that's really what this is getting at, is that the roots are going to turn out to be very, very deep indeed, and that only our so-called creative arts, where we're not told we have to believe anything, will open up that song. Because once you grow up, you don't need to keep getting it right. You realize Mozart never got it right. He got it beautiful. Whoa!